Hello. Hi, Beverly. Yes. It's Roy from the office, the mobile home park office. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing tonight? Good. What hey, can I do for you? Um, I needed to let you know that your mobile home looks dumb, and it makes the whole neighborhood like we're a trailer park. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Well, we're a mobile home park, but you're... You're making it look like a trailer park. Like, we're one step away from being an RV park. What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. I know, but you're, you're making it look like a trailer park. Who the fuck is this? It's Roy from the, the office. There is no Roy at the office. There is now. I, I just, I've been here like three weeks. You don't come in enough. Or you would know me. I don't care to know you. I well, I don't want to know you either because your your mobile home looks dumb. Makes What's look, wrong with my mobile home? It just looks dumb. It makes the whole neighborhood look How? like look like a trailer park. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. You better not. I don't give you permission. The hell, I won't. I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call, and you know what? I'm going to report you. No. Please don't. You want to play fucking games, buddy? Don't report. Let's play fucking games. Don't report me, please, okay? I'm, I got two strikes. You are a piece of fucking shit. Okay. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. Oh, come on. Ple my please. nephew is a sheriff. <gasps> I'm reporting you to him. You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. Just, just, can we pretend I never called you? Beverly? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, hello? Hello, Beverly? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the trailer park. If you start your fucking shit again, buddy, my grand, my uh, nephew can trace your number. No, Even no. though you're using a burn phone. No. Now, it's... you try your fucking shit with me anymore, buddy. I'll see you in jail for harassment. No, it, it's not like that. I, I'm calling from the office. I, I needed to let you know You about don't some... belong to the office. I've already talked to everybody. They don't know who the fuck you are. Uh, no, I... You want to keep it up? Well, no, like, no, that we, I know we told you, you that. You want to keep it up, buddy, because I'm going to see you in jail. I'm a widow, and I know how to play that to the full extent. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So you want to play? Well, Let's it's... play, buddy. Come to the house. Let me show you what my concealed carry looks like. No, it looks... Would you like to do that? Come on over, honey. Ma'am, I don't think you understand. I, I actually do work in the office. I don't think you do. I think you're fucking mentally ill. No, I, I, I just got this job Come like over, last Roy. week. Let me show you my concealed carry. You're going to feel really dumb when you find I'll out I really work here. I'll your fucking belly button through your spine. What is your last thought going to be? Uh, it's going to be, ow, you that really play? hurts. Come over, Roy. Come over, Roy. Let's play. You're not you a nice lady. Play? You're not a very nice lady. I'm not a nice lady, honey. I'm a motherfucking bitch. Whoa. And I will rip your fucking face off and shove it down your throat. Can you not... Come over, Roy. Can you not curse on the phone? I'm a Christian. Oh, what kind of a Christian plays your fucking games? <laughs> Give me a break. May God strike you dead, you piece of shit. But I, I really am in the office. Look, I just you, got this uh, job. Really, really? I've talked to Richard, Teresa, and the security guard. Yeah, but that and was... I also know that you've made calls to other people because they also complained about you. That was a month ago, though. Like, since then... You do not work at the office. I've come clean, and they hired me here, weirdly enough. They did not hire you. Okay, yeah, they, they felt come bad. to my house. Show me paperwork. I'm the only one here in the office, so I can't leave right you now. You are fucking full of shit, buddy. I was just up there and talked to Teresa. So let's play another game. Look, I just wanted to tell you about your new neighbor. Like, uh, I don't see why you have to yell at me. There is no new neighbor here. Nobody has moved in. We're going to put a trailer, a trailer on top of your trailer. Roy, and, there, and there's going to be you stairs. You know what, Christian, sweetie? I already told you once before, my nephew is a 
deputy sheriff. Oh. I already got the first phone number that you called from. Uh-oh. I will, will get another phone number from you. They'll trace you down, and I'm going to see you in jail for harassment. No, it's not like harassment. Like I told you, sweetie, I know how to play the widow bit to the full extent. I don't think they'll believe you, though. Oh, what? That my husband's not dead? Also, sweetheart, when you said, Roy, I hit the button on my answering machine. <sighs> I've got this whole motherfucking shit. Recorded. You're recorded, baby. Uh, don't record me. I don't give you permission to record. I don't give a motherfuck if you do or not. I accidentally hit a button. And you're being recorded. And I'm going to give it to my nephew. Don't give it to your nephew, please. I Anything have every that. intention of giving it to my nephew, along with both the phone numbers. And all the other ladies you called also got the phone numbers, dummy. Shit. We've got them on our phone. Crud. You are Crud. too stupid to live. Can, can I you just, realize that, can, right? Can I just apologize and then you won't Why send don't it? you find something to do? Get a motherfucking job. Walk a dog. Do something other than harassing people. I'm not allowed and around I dogs. I will report this again to the office with your name and your phone number. Even if I apologize? Can I just it apologize? doesn't do any good. I am, this is my only day off, and I don't want to deal with a piece of shit like you. Now, I'd love you to come over, sweetheart. If, I've gone to all the classes. What I'll classes? drag your lifeless body in here after I put you away. Okay, you if, think I'm kidding? Can, come over, buddy. Can I, if I apologize, will I've you not? I've got a Remington that just would love to know your name on its muzzle. If, if I come, come over, over, buddy. If I come over and I apologize, will you not kill me? You come over, I'm going to blow your belly button through your spine. You already said that one. Uh, yeah, it works, honey. Well, like, what if I do some yard work for you and, and make up I for this? I don't want, I've got my own handyman that takes incredibly good care of me. Yeah, but I can do better than him. You can't even hardly probably walk or blow your nose. Anybody so. that does this kind of shit is brain damaged. I was just trying. I, I actually work in the office, ma'am. You like, do not work in the office. I really do. If you call the office and ask them, they'll tell you we hired that guy that was making those calls because he's actually a really nice guy. Oh, Richard wouldn't and do that. And Richard a, isn't going to put up with your a, fucking shit. Yeah, and he's a Christian. and, and like no. We, Richard we, is a Christian and doesn't deal with mentally ill harassing people. We had an understanding and, and it turns he out... He would not understand you. Nobody does. God is looking at you now and going, where the hell did I fuck up? No, God doesn't fuck up. He's perfect. You are he, oak. Hey, honey, when you, he allowed you to be born, he fucked up. No, no, no. God's perfect. You, sh- you know what? It's a shame abortions aren't retroactive. Your mother should have aborted you. Oh, that's not nice. You Come are on. a waste of Stop air. That. You can't say there that. There are people out there that need air, and you're taking it away from them. Oh, there's you plenty of air. You are a waste of air. You should have been an abortion. <sighs> That's mean. You should have been an aborted fetus because you're fucking nuts. And if you call me again, I'd love to know where you live, honey. I won't call you again. I, I just I was trying I to let you know about this. I would love to know if you live here in this park. Should I just send you a letter instead about the trailer on top of your trailer? You that send we're gonna... me a letter, buddy. I'll have it to my nephew for fingerprints. You want me to do that? Well, no, I work in the office, so sometimes I'm going to have to you be sending letters are... out. Fucking full of shit. Richard will tell you. You, you just Richard, ask him. we already talked to Richard. There's been a meeting, baby. Yeah, but that, that was a month There's ago. Been, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Why don't you go away, aborted fetus, okay. and leave people that have jobs, work, pay their bills, and they contribute alone. Where do you work at? You contribute nothing but probably the stuff you put in the toilet. Where That's you, all your work. Where do you work at? None of your fucking business, except I'm a manager and been there going on eight years. Oh, really? Where at? That's cool. It's none of your fucking business. Well, I'm just... All you need to know 
is that I have a concealed carry. I'm just trying to make conversation. I'm being friendly. I don't want to talk to a piece of crap like you. Then why don't you hang up? And I've got your phone number and you're recorded. Yeah, but I apologize, so you're not allowed to report me. It doesn't me. matter. You apologized the last time you fucking called and told me my house was trash. No, I didn't say that. That was a different person. Yes, you did. And you know something? In the last four years, my house was considered one of the prettiest with a sign in the front in this area. Oh, I know. I, I didn't really think your house was trashy. I just I said that to several That's people. That's exactly what you said to me, you piece of garbage. I know, but I said that to several people. It was nothing personal. Then what is your problem? Do you have nothing better to do? No, I don't. I'm like, then you... find something better to do. Okay. Like what? Like, if can you, you call me again, I'm going to have you arrested. Can you make suggestions on things I should do? Commit suicide. No, that's... that's Mia, hello? Wouldn't it be cool if you could call up Beverly anytime you want and just have her yell at you on the phone? Well, guess what, everybody? Now you can. All you have to do is dial 270-558-1710. And you can talk to Beverly. She seems to usually pick up after about a ring and a half. Hello? Oh, hey, Beverly. I was just calling to tell you about the new AI bot that I made. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're a part of it. I'm, I'm talking to it right now. Isn't that crazy? Hi, how are you? I'm doing just great. I don't have time for small talk, though, Beverly. So you can get your friends to call this. And, uh, you know, maybe they'll talk to Beverly, and the conversation usually turns kind of bad eventually. Right, Beverly? What can I do for you? Uh, you can, I, I don't know, prove to me that the conversation turns bad. I thought it did by this point. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. I didn't say that you didn't, Beverly. But Beverly uses the same, uh, you know, this, it's the same script from uh, Asterix that Linny uses, the telemarketer AI bot. It's the latest in AI and machine learning technology. Right? Who the fuck is this? I just told you who I am, Beverly. Wait, no, no, I didn't. It's Brad. I'm Brad. I don't care to know you. Then why did you ask who I was? What the hell, Beverly? You ask who I am, then you say you don't care who I am. Make up your mind. What's wrong with my mobile home? Yeah, there's little bits of me in there. I'm going to look and see if I have those uh, files where I have the separated tracks and I can do that without my voice popping in. I tried to take it out. Anyway, call the AI bot, the Beverly AI bot. It's 270-558-1710. Have your friends call it. Maybe they'll have a conversation with her and they'll tell you what a bitch Beverly was to them. All the awful things that she said. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. Oh, crap. Don't do it, Beverly. Don't do it. The hell I won't. I trace her on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. Shit. All right. Call the bot, everybody. It's fun. It's a part of the phone system that I run here at my house where you can call in this other number, which is 505-608-6123. And it's a part of a bunch of other things you can do, like hack into these physical answering machines that I have set up and hooked to the internet. And there's a message board and some recordings. Go check it out, 505-608-6123. And as long as I'm here shilling all of my own stuff, why aren't you listening to my podcast? I do a podcast at least once a week. It's called The Snowplow Show. It has nothing to do with snowplows. It's a bunch of prank calls, as you'd expect from this channel. But for some reason, it doesn't have 40,000 subscribers like this channel has. Why not? What's wrong with you people? If you like the prank calls that I play on this channel, chances are you're going to like the podcast. So go to snowplowshow.com to subscribe to the feed. If you want to keep it on YouTube, you can also listen to The Snowplow Show by going to youtube.com slash The Snowplow Show. Every single episode is on that account. You've got a lot of catching up to do, so get to it.